Welcome back to another video. My name is Ace with MailerLite, and in this one, we're diving deeper into the MailerLite file manager. I'm gonna show you a few tips and tricks and ultimately how you can upload different images from different sources, as well as GIFs, and be able to edit those images all within the MailerLite file manager. Now, with that said, let's go ahead and jump on the computer and get started. And once you are logged into your MailerLite dashboard, you can access our file manager on the left side toolbar, simply by clicking on the tab file manager. From here, you can see in this window, we have an option to import from a URL, uh, my device, Google Drive, Tenor, or Icon Finder. For Google Drive, once you click on this, a window will open, allowing you to connect your Google Drive and then select the images directly from there. Tenor provides a huge collection of GIFs to help bring some life into your emails. And Icon Finder is a platform that serves as a marketplace for icons, illustrations, and tons of 3D illustrations as well, available in AI and PNG formats. And then below that, you can organize all of these assets into separate folders to help you keep things very organized. If you wanna take a particular action on one of these assets that are already uploaded, you can go ahead and select this checkbox here and you can either delete it or you can move it to a specific folder. Another thing that you can do is if you wanted to upload directly, you can just select this upload image button and select the images from your device to upload directly to the file manager. If you want to organize your media in a different way, you can also do that here by date uploaded, name or size, and then you can click this button for ascending or descending order. And then if you want a list view, you can go ahead and select that button there. And there you have an easy to view list view. Now, let's say you want to edit an image. We can actually do all of that within MailerLite. So if we click on the particular image and then click more, we can click on edit and that'll bring us to our editor that's within our MailerLite file manager. It's pretty simple and straightforward. However, it is also very powerful and should allow you to do pretty much everything that you wanna do. There are multiple filters that you can select, for example, this one. And if you want that, you can go ahead and click apply. Or if you want to also go back in your history, you can check here and you see, we can go back to our initial photo uh, before we applied any filters. There are tons of different frames that you can add and just a bunch of really cool adjustments to add a little bit more creativity to your images. I'm gonna go ahead and click apply there and now click done. And once you click done, you will see that it actually adds a separate image with the edits made, keeping the original intact. Another important thing to keep in mind is that the upload file size limit is 10 megabytes. And that wraps up this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really does help our channel continue to grow. And if you're not already subscribed, consider doing so. It is completely free and you'll be able to stay up to date with all new updates and videos that hit the channel. As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.